Matt from Media Unlocked, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Magic Lantern uh, 1.0.9 hack update, firmware hack update for your Canon T2i R550D. Um, so the first step you're going to want to do is you haven't done a recent firmware update for your camera. If you're still stuck at uh, like 1.0.7 or 1.0.8, you're going to need to go on update to 1.0.9. Um, so uh, there'll be this will be step one, um, the first link right there in my pants bar. So go on and click on this if you haven't done it. It's going to take you to um, Canon website. You're going to scroll to the very bottom of the page. Actually, we'll back up here because you're going to scroll. This is the this is the page that you'll be on. You're going to scroll to the very bottom of this page. You're going to click I agree. You're going to scroll down to the bottom of that page. You're going to click Firmware Update Version 1.0.9. So we're going to go on and download that, save it. Um, it's done. We're going to show in Finder. There it is. We're going to go and double click on it. It will open up here in a second. There it is. You're going to drag this file right here, go on and drag and drop it onto your ESO Digital. So you should have DCIM, MISC, and this. So now we're going to jump over to the camera and we're going to install it. So we're going to properly disconnect it. Camera, let's go on and do this firmware update. You're going to click Menu. You're going to scroll all the way down. And make sure you're in Shooting Settings, not Camera Settings, uh, Video Shooting. You need to be in Photography Settings. Uh, go on to a firmware update, so you're going to go down to the third wrench, click firmware, click OK. It's going to load. It's going to pop up, we're going to click OK again, we're going to click OK. Now make sure that you have a full battery before you do this. You don't want to, to be in the middle of a firmware update and your camera just die on you. That would just be really bad. And uh, of course, don't don't turn off the switch while it's doing it. All right, so it's done. We're going to click OK. Back out. Now we're going to go back to menu. We're going to scroll down to the first wrench. Click Format. Now if you notice that there's something called a low-level format, um, all you have to do is click the Delete button. There you go. Now it's checked. Let's go on and do a format. Right. Now that we've done the format, let's jump back over to the computer and start on step two. All right. Our next step is to go to this website. This will be link number two. Um, so we're going to scroll down um, to where you see installing Magic Lantern for 550D firmware version 1.0.9. So we're going to scroll right below that. There it is. Download, download this release. So we're going to go on and download the release. We're going to open it up, show in Finder, double click on it. All right, there it is. Now you've got all these files here. Um, you only need to worry about one file right now, and that is magiclantern.fir. So we're going to take it, drag it, and drop it onto the card. As you can see, there should be only that and two other items in there. Now we're going to head back over to the camera. Properly disconnected, of course. To the card again into the camera. We're going to, of course, go down to menu. Same thing as last time. Firmware version 1.0.9. Go on and install it. Now you notice when you first install it, it's going to do a little weird thing. You get some weird stuff on your screen. Don't worry about that. Um, when that's done, now that the basis of the uh, firmware is installed, we're going to click Menu again. We're going to go down to Format. Make sure you're still in low level format. Click OK. And let's head back over to the computer. All right, so this is the difficult part, so you really want to pay attention carefully, and I'm going to try to make it as clear as possible, because it's the part that really got me stuck when I first tried to figure this out. Um, so your next step is you can go on and open up the folder that um, all of your files are in after you've done your download and everything. Um, we're going to go up to the spotlight, and we're going to type in T-E-R, which will pull up terminal. So terminal's up. Now we're going to type in disk, D-I-S-K, U. Uh, UNTIL, I believe, and then list LIST. We're going to click enter. Oop, I did it wrong. D I S K U T I L. Maybe that's what it is. List enter. Yes, my bad. I'll, I'll put that at the bottom of the screen so you guys can see what you need to type in here. Um, but it is disk and then U T I L and then the word list. Um, as you can see, it gives you like a list. The only thing you really need to be paying attention to is whatever, wherever your card is. So like I know that's not my card and then I see it right here. Uh, it's going to be disk 2. 
and I can see because I know it's a 16 gig card so then that's my my uh, ESO digital card right there uh, and this gives you all that information right here um, but all you really need to be paying attention to is something called the identifier right here now um, so my identifier is disk 2s1 so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go on and copy this part click copy now you could you could have disk 3 or disk 1 you could have different disks depending on your computer what you just need to make sure is that the one that you do copy when you do find your card on this list is under the identifier and it should be the second item um, on that list second or third item um, here it's my second item so now we're gonna go back over to the folder with all the um, files we're gonna double click on make bootable.sh so we're gonna go on and double click that we're gonna open it up um, it's probably got yeah it fell behind for some reason um, now where it says change this right here if I don't know if you guys can see it or not but we're gonna go on and we're going to highlight that we're going to paste in that information now next will be we'll, we will command a so you'll click command a pretty much you'll select everything then we'll right click we'll go on and copy we're going to copy that whole thing. We're going to go back over to the terminal. We're going to click Shell, New Window, and then we're going to paste that information. So it just ran through all that information right there. All right. So when that's done, you can go on and exit out all of these. And what that does is it unmounts your um, it unmounts your card. We don't need to save that as you can see my card is no longer mounted so we're going to take the card out of the card reader put it back in the card reader that's gonna pop back up there it is alright so we're gonna go back down to our downloaded files and magic lantern now what we're going to do is we're gonna go on and click on uh, auto exe dot bin um, all the BPM files so So once you get back into uh, your files, you're going to do uh, auto X, all the BMP. So we're going to go on and drop that into digital, EOS digital. Then we're going to also get the magic.cfg file. Go on and drop that into. Um, and then go on and safely remove it. Pop the card back in, as you can see. And we're going to go into the, we're just going to go into video. And there you go, it's installed. Very simple. And if you hit the delete button, you can do all your settings. You can go through all your settings that way. Uh, one other thing to let you know is if you hit the picture button on the opposite side of the uh, delete button, hit that once, no images, turn it back on. That way, as you notice, everything's behind. For some reason, that's a glitch that this has is that um, the Magic Lantern stuff gets on top of the cannon like all this canon information here so if you hit the no images and then back it puts it all behind so you can see all, the, all of your normal settings uh... now we're gonna go and we're gonna install one last thing and that's the new iso update and that's a very very simple procedure to do all right so this is the last thing we gotta do uh... this will be i believe link number three or four so you'll just click this link right here um, it downloads we'll go show in finder um, we're going to unzip it we're going to open it up and you're going to highlight everything but the readme and we will drop that um, into your ESO Canon Digital when you drop it in there it will ask uh, do you want to override you'll click uh, you know override 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 and with those new files that will give you the new ISO settings but yeah that's the bare basics of setting up I'd also like to give a shout out to Benny and L um, he actually came up with a way, one of the things I don't like about the Magic Lantern that I talked about before was it, uh, you have to put on every single memory card. It's not like a one, one deal time. You have to have the memory card, has to have the information on it, and if it doesn't have the information on it, you can't use it. Um, I, I like to, I format my cards. Um, I don't like to just leave images or go in there and manually delete them right off the card. But what you can do is you can go into, I believe it's your third or fourth setting to the right um, when you go into menu and it allows you to just delete images and videos without formatting the card um, so that's a really cool feature and uh, he actually came up with it so for all you people out there that want to use this but don't want to format your card you have a way to just delete all images and videos without formatting your card 
I still believe in formatting my card and I love this software. I'll probably just keep it on one SD card, one 16 gig. So when I am shooting video, um, I'll just pop that 16 gig in and I'll, and I'll be able to set my settings up the way I want to. Um, and then I'll just dump everything off the 16 gig and then, um, and then do the manual delete and keep on shooting. So David with Media Unlocked, uh, again, if there's anything I can do to help you guys out or a step that you missed or something that you didn't understand, please send me a message or leave me um, a comment and I will get back with you as soon as I possibly can. You guys have a wonderful day.